what's up you guys installing a trailer hitch on your honda crv can take you to some really cool places like camping biking or even towing a u-haul trailer just about anywhere in north america let's go ahead and break down that install you'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation to start our install we need to remove this underbody panel it's held in by five push pins and we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the three bolts and we'll remove these push pins using a trim panel tool And then we'll go ahead and pull it down. Now with our underbody panel lowered, there's one last screw that holds it into place right here in the wheel well. Now if you want to remove this underbody panel, you can just take out that screw and remove it. Otherwise, we're gonna reinstall this, but first we need to make a cut right here on the driver's side so we can reinstall it and then bring our hitch into place. So to make that cut, we're just gonna pull back on this liner right here. So following our instructions, we marked off this rectangle right here, and we're just going to cut that out to have access through our frame. Now we're going to reinstall our underbody panel. Now you can take this liner and you can just cut it off right there for the excess that goes over that hole, or you can just fold it over and reinstall it. Now on the passenger side, we're going to lower our exhaust. It's held in by two exhaust hangers. There's one here and here. Now it helps to remove those by using some soapy water and we're gonna use some exhaust removal pliers. So now let's go ahead and point out our attachment points that we'll be using for our hitch. On both our driver side and passenger side frame rail, it's the same. We're gonna be using these two weld nuts on the driver side and these two on the passenger side. And then we'll be using our tow hook as an attachment point. So now let's go ahead and bring our hitch into place. So to line up our hitch, we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. So we need to line up this hole right here where our exhaust hanger will go right through it. Now as we raise it up, we're going to take our provided U-bolt, we're going to bring it through our tow loop. Now on the passenger side, we're going to install our provided hardware. For our two attachment points, we have our provided bolts and conical tooth washers. And we also have a flat washer that will go in between the hitch and the frame towards the front of our vehicle. So we're gonna take our flat washer and we're gonna slide it in between the hitch. And then we're gonna take our bolts and conical washer. We're gonna go through that washer and then we'll go ahead and attach it. And then we'll install our rearward bolt. and it's the exact same on the driver's side. Now on our U-bolt, we're going to install our provided flat washer, lock washer, and nuts on both sides. Now with all of our hardware in place, we're going to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer's specification. For both of our bolts on both sides and for the nuts on our U-bolt, we'll be using a 17 millimeter socket. And then we'll finish our install by reinstalling our exhaust. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. 
This is a two inch receiver from the pinhole to the edge of the bumpers two inches and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 14 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.